Allie Knowles, a brilliant test. Your first time here at Rolex and everyone was just sitting there in suspense, all from Kentucky, the locals, your family. What did you think when you went in there? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look up. I just looked at my horse and I thought, this is just another arena, look at the court. Like I literally did not look up, I thought, just keep this simple. Keep it simple. Well, they're not verified yet, but it looked, according to the scoreboard, that on your entry you got a 9, 9, and a 10, the first movement of Rolex. So it's a great way to start out the test. And then kind of as you went along, walk us through your thoughts on what went good, what could have been a little bit better for future and, and overall. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, like a, quite a few people told me to that the entrance was really important. So I just really focused on having her straight and mostly in front of my leg. As soon as she gets behind my leg, she tends to get a bit tense. So if I could just keep it forward and relaxed, the, that was what I was going for. You know, always taking another second in the turn, keeping her a little bit softer in her pull. Like, mo mo you know, things like that will be, I guess, what I would work on next time. But I just went movement by movement and said, just stay in here as long as you can. Take your time and have as big and slow of a trot as as you can and and she didn't seem to look up and like we just stayed kind of like in our own little world and flying changes would be our hardest thing that we've always struggled with and so you know the first two I was really happy with and then I knew in this in the serpentine she was starting to get a little bit tense and uh, she was good for the third one and then got really nervous and I just you know it, we totally missed it and I thought well it's been pretty good to this point. Why don't we just walk and, you know, and say bag that one. No, no big deal. I'll let that one go and, uh, and not worry about it too much and then say, okay, now we're back on the center line and, and make a good closing statement as well. So I, I wouldn't have changed a whole lot about her disposition. She was pretty incredible. Well, 43 will be your score for the day. That's pretty phenomenal. And a big hug from Jenny Brannigan when she came out. She told you to do each phase for her this weekend and just kind of thoughts on being able to put in a great test. Oh, it was... Uh, <laughs> that one's a tough one for me. I know how hard we all work to get here. And so to have something that heartbreaking happen to one of my friends when I feel like we've lived a very parallel life and you know we're finally here and get to be here at the same time. I was devastated this morning when I heard. So yeah, I actually did, you know, think about her and said her name in my head and I was like, this is for you and you know, tried to give it, give it my all and it, it really hurts <laughs> that she can't do this. It kills me so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do my best for her for sure. <laughs> All right, well, regardless, she put forth a brilliant test this morning, and we're very, very proud of Allie Knowles, a local here in Kentucky now. There were lots of cheers for her, and there will be a big crowd rooting for this pair come tomorrow.